Hi everyone, in this video we're going to uh, get an introduction for SQL language. First of all, uh, what is SQL is used for? SQL is the language that is used to uh, read and manipulate data from databases, uh, from a variety of databases, supportable language. And the main thing you can do with SQL is called crude operations, create, read, uh, update or modify and delete data using SQL. Uh, and it's pronounced SQL, not SQL. Um, so it's good to know this. Now SQL has a certain structure and these mainly it is made up of two different types of statements. Uh, first of all is the reserved words and user defined words. Uh, reserved words are the keywords that are, that come with SQL and user-defined words are created by user, uh, basically uh, variable names or names for databases, columns or attributes and uh, views and different relations for to, to refer to uh, things, entities and their attributes in the databases. Uh, Part of the user-defined words may include literals. Uh, literals are like constant variables. Okay, they're constants, and uh, they are case sensitive. Now, the rest of the SQL statements are not case sensitive, but literals are. And an example to give an example of literals, think of Chicago. It can be the city name. In, let's say you you have a database about cities and the city name is Chicago. Now it's a non-numeric uh, literal and it has to be uh, enclosed within single quotes. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get an error message. And on the other hand, numeric literals they must not be closed. They cannot be closed. For example, 234. This cannot be. Uh, and close with literals. If you define it, when you create a database, if you define a type as a numeric, it cannot be. But if you define the type as a, a varchar, like some string or text, then it has to be enclosed because then it's a non-numeric literal. Uh, this is the basic select statement syntax. Um, <clears throat> whenever you want to read data from the database, you have to start with the select statement. So select statement reads data from the database. And after select statement, there are certain keywords you, that can come. Uh, I'm going to get into some of them in this video. Some of them will be for the next one. Uh, depending on how what kind of data you want to fetch, you can use the distinct keyword or all keyword. Uh, distinct keyword basically removes duplicate results. Okay, And after these keywords, you have column expression, so you have column names, so which columns you're choosing from the database. Uh, for example, this is the database we're going to be working on. It's from the book, the textbook. Let's say you have a branch. You want to read, uh, you want to get the, all the branch numbers, streets and cities, then you can type select branch number, street, city. So these, these, these column names will come after the select statement. And then from uh, shows which table you're actually choosing this from because the database, the management system doesn't know do you want to fetch these columns from the branch or staff or property for rent. Sometimes some databases may, some database tables may have same column names. For example, staff has branch number and branch also has a branch number. So you have to specify which tables uh, you're referring to. That's what the from is used for. And then where, con where statement is used for uh, filtering results, uh, your results going to be some uh, table, another table. And if you want to filter columns, then you can use where. For example, uh, select all the staff that makes less than $20,000. And it's going to bring you a subset of the staff table where it's not going to include the rows uh, where the staff does not make does not meet the criteria. 
and group by order by will be covered in the next video but group by is used to group data and for example uh, total salary for each branch okay and order by is used to order the data in an ascending or descending order so uh, let's uh, start with let's start with uh, going to PHP my admin uh, by the way we're gonna work on this dream home database so if you haven't watched the video that I sent you uh, that shows you how to import the this dream home database you should first watch that one because we're gonna work on that database now once you create import the database you have a dream home database these are the tables so you can actually see that branch staff and then property for and all these tables are included here and then we have the client table we have the private owner reviewing so pretty much all the tables that are included with the data are here if I click on the branch you can see all the branch data uh, by the way this is what a database table looks like it's rows and columns so each horizontal line is a row and each vertical uh, co column is a column and it's also called an attribute so branch is an entity and <clears throat> this entity has attributes such as it has a number it has a street it has a city it has a postcode or and then a staff staff is another entity and you have you see that it has attributes such as first name last name because the staff is a person and what kind of position they have uh, is the manager is, is, is the person a supervisor their gender date of birth etc so let's uh, write some SQL code uh, to practice this statement first so let's uh, go to SQL tab so this is going to open a SQL editor and let's start writing here first of all uh, let's get all the first names and last names of the staff uh, staff table from the staff table so basically I'm going to type select uh, staff name first name for if you don't remember the columns you can open up and open the columns here and you can see first name last name so first name second comes the last name and then next one is going to be from and I'm choosing it uh, choosing these attributes from the staff table so I'm going to refer to the staff table and that's pretty much it so click on go here and this is the result so it brings uh, John White and Beach etc so it brings all the so this is another table this is a subset of the staff table and this table has two columns and five uh, one two three four five six rows okay and basically it just brings us the first name and last name of the staff now we can also include the salary for example right so I'm gonna go back to show query box and then here first name and let's say salary and you can see how much each person makes now it brings the table with their salaries so that's the use of basic select statement uh, now let's look for another query so I'm going to bring cities that have a branch uh, in the SQL, go to query box, select city from branch, and go. Now you see there, there. These are the cities that have a branch: London, Aberdeen, Glasgow, Bristol, and London. Uh, if you see that the London is repeating, because there are two there are actually two branches in London right and 
it kind of doesn't make sense to see London twice here. So what I can do, I can I can use a distinct keyword, distinct city from branch, and that way I know the London is brought only once, Aberdeen, Glasgow, Bristol. So we are not there. If, if, if we don't need to list London twice, so that's how you can use distinct keyword. Uh, next, going forward, we have, let's do some exercise with the where. I'm going to show how to use the where condition. Uh, where condition is used for basically creating a search condition and returning the results that fit that criteria. If it does not fit that criteria, you filter them out and they're not in the uh, last table that is brought to the output. Now, you can use certain different operators with the where condition. These are comparison operators, such as greater than, less than, equal, not equal, uh, greater than equal, less than equal. There, You can use logical operators, actually there's also not, and, or and not. Uh, there is range search between and for example salary between you're choosing people's salary people who make between 20,000 and 30,000 then you can say where salary between 20,000 and 30,000 and set membership is another one where you have the keyword in so the value you're looking for must be within the values that follow the in keyword Okay, so let's do some examples of these. For example, I want to choose those uh, staff members who make between uh, 15,000 and 30,000, right? So select first name, last name, salary from uh, staff table. Now I'm going to use where keyword where uh, salary between twenty third fifteen thousand and thirty thousand and you can see there are three people John White David Ford by the way thirty thousand is inclusive there so these are the uh, returning results. Now you can write the same thing using logical operators, right? You can say salary equals 15, uh, not equal, sorry, greater than or equal 15 and salary is less than equal 30,000. So this is, is the same thing. Last name, I had an error message, by the way, this is what happens when you have an error message and you have an error in SQL syntax checks manual extra so yeah we have a problem with this operators here okay so make sure the greater sign is before the equal sign that's how the equal greater greater than equal is written okay uh, we get the same result. Let's do so. This is using uh, logical operators and comparison operators because this is a comparison operator and this is a logical operator. You can also use or. Now, the next example, let's do this time, let's say. Uh, return all the cities that, that return all the branch bran branch numbers of branches that are in either London, Aberdeen, or Bristol. And there are a couple of ways we can do this. So we're going to return the branch number. Branch number from this time we're working with the branch table. So I'm going to put the branch. And now we're going to say. We can first use the membership, right? Where city in 
London, Aberdeen, or Glasgow. Now, notice that I'm enclosing the variables in single quotes because they are non numeric literals. And these are also key sensitive. And let's go. So this will bring us the branch numbers of the branches that exist either in London, Aberdeen, or Glasgow. So you can see that it's going to, it should be B005, B002, uh, B007, and B003. So everything except B004. And you can see, 005, 007, 003, 002. Now we can write the same thing using logical operators and computational operators where city equal London or city equal Aberdeen or city equal Glasgow. Let's run this and again we get the same result. So the first time we did it with this set membership, now the second time we used comparison operators and uh, logical operators. We can also, let's do an example of not equal. Let's say, let's return the branch branch numbers of the branches that do, does not exist in London. They are not in, Lo in London. So uh, we can use, not equal operator. So all these branches they do not exist in London. 004, 003, 007. So 7 is Aberdeen, 3 is Glasgow, and 4 is Bristol. So it excluded B005 and B002 because they do not exist there. And then um, let's see. Uh, another important one is the character asterisk character. Uh, basically, it stands for all columns. So instead of typing column names, uh, you can use asterisk to return every column. For example, with the staff, instead of, so let's say I want to get all the attributes of the staff, not just their name and last name. So I can just do select asterisk from staff. And this will bring everything in the staff table. Right. Let's say I want to get the mail staff, information about the mail staff, right? So there's a sex table here, and for the mail staff, it they represent it with M. You can go back and say select all from staff where sex equal M. So this will bring all the mail staff. Two people shows their branch number, salary, and their related data. So this is it for this video. Next video we're going to t talk more about SQL, uh, more advanced topics, and see you in the next video.